guys, in today's video, we are going to be doing, um, so the collar and the service dog vest that I showed you in the last video. Um, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be basically just putting, like, my dog's certification on this collar. Because this is going to be his new permanent collar because it fits him very well. It's nice and sturdy. So, yeah. I just don't want to show these because they have our, like, location and stuff. So... So there's this little thing like right here. I think it's for this. So let's try it on there. Let me do this off camera just in case. Sorry about this, guys. Um, does this work? Yeah. Seems to fit. So, yeah. Let me just put it on the back. Then you guys can't see anything. See? Like the rabies and the other stuff. That's all. And for the service dog vest, I just want to show you how it works. I know it looks a very, very bright. I promise it's not that bright in person, but at night it's definitely helpful. So what you want to do first is you want to get your dog, of course, used to the vest. You want to get to them in like a state where they can, they will be comfortable with putting it on first. So you want to practice with different harnesses first, of course. Um, and once your dogs get comfortable with the vest, what you want to do, this part goes on the back, their back, then it's hard to do it without my dog, but so you put this part, and then what you do is you have to put their one foot in there, then this goes on the chest, and then what you do is you strap this buckle around their neck, like that, and wait for it to click, then you strap this part around their chest. And wait for the click like that and so then it's on them and there is some patches that this one comes with so I'm just gonna take them off to show you it bare versus with patches so here's it bare you could use this as a regular harness if you wanted to but um, it's meant for like service dogs but Still, like it's like you can still use it if you want this handle. I know they have tons of them where they don't have the velcro on just the handle, which is very helpful. Um, yeah, so this is just all, and then there's one here too. And so these are the ones that I'm using for my dog Cooper. So there's one that says service dog, there's one that says there's actually two service dog ones, two in training ones, and then one of this like American paw thing which is the symbol for service dogs. So what I like to do is I put the in-training one on the chest part. You don't have to do this one. Um, you can choose wherever. You can choose whatever you want to put. Like you can put in-training on the back and then service dog on the front. It doesn't really matter. But um, then on the two sides, I put the service dog because like some people do know what a service dog, what a service dog is and yeah, so if they do, then they'll know not to pet them. I just put them like that. And then this one, I just put, there's a little part right here. If you move this, boom, put it right there. So that's what I do. You can, of course, customize it however you want with, you can buy patches separately that say like, do not pet, um, service dog in training, um, there's also like customizable patches that you can get. Um, they're they're not they don't come with these. Um, the patches there's five patches that come with these, and these were the four that I just showed you. Um, there's one downstairs which is another in training one. But yeah, so that's how this one works. For a collar, you can get a service dog collar that says service dog on it. And the only problem with getting things online, I know it's way easier. But for people who don't know what they're doing with service dogs, if they don't have a licensed service dog, oh my goodness, <laughs> it can be a big issue. Um, yeah, don't mind me just having my ribs. Um, but I'm gonna just sit here and talk up. Why are these crushed? I'm gonna sit here and talk about how. I encountered a fake service dog. So, one day, me and Cooper, my service dog, 
we're going to the, um, I forgot what store it was. We were going to a store, and I just needed a couple things. My grandma came along, um, and then we encountered a fake service dog. It was, it was just awful, barking, trying to attack my dog. And he was like a German Shepherd. Like, my dog fits in this harness, okay? They are tiny. My dog is tiny. He was a smaller breed. So, he's gonna need, he can't get attacked by a big dog. So, I just told the manager, hey, um, there's a fake service dog, it's really freaking me out, all that. And they didn't do anything about it. So, yeah, so I'm never going, I have never gone since. It's been like a year since I've gone back to that place. Um, I'm not going to list the name because I don't want the place to be, you know, exposed. But, yeah. Um, anyway, he's doing good, my dog. We're going to go to, um, out of, this, out of our state soon to go to a wedding. So that would be nice. Um, in October, I think. Yeah. But... Yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed this seven minute video. Um, make sure to like and subscribe, turn on all post notifications so then you get notified whenever I post new content. And my song will be coming out either this November or um, February. So, yeah, peace out.